Hi, I'm Herman Eflin. I work for the acoustic department here at PRS, and uh, I'm kind of at the beginning of the program here. And we start over here at the shelves where we have our wood stacked and sorted. Basically, with an acoustic, you're talking about a neck wood, a back wood, and side wood, and a top wood. So, our top wood is generally spruce, and we have several varieties which would be Sitka, Red Spruce, which is North American, uh, Engelman Spruce, which is North American, uh, Carpathian Spruce, which is European, and then European Spruce. Um, we also have an occasional red seed, Western Red Cedar Top or Redwood Top. Our usual top is uh, Red Spruce, which is an Appalachian variety. Okay, the sides and backs, uh, mostly we're using Coca-Cola Rosewood, which comes from Mexico. And what we do is we dry the back pieces in an oven to uh, remove all moisture and also to uh, solidify any rosin that's in there. And then the sides, when they're bent, that cooks them also and releases all of their resins. So basically what we would do is get a set of backs and match the sides to them. And then we would take the back, the starting point, and uh, these are book matched, which means they were once one board and it's sawn that way. And then you open it up and you have your book match. And depending on which way we like the way it looks the best, that's the way it will go. So these would have to be edge joined on a joiner so that the uh, glue line is perfect. And then from there, we would go to the clamping system over here, which is basically bar clamps. I have some in process right now. Uh, we're using an epoxy glue to glue rosewood as it doesn't bond well with standard wood glue. So, so once they're glued up, then they're thickness sanded. And hello, Mike, do you have a thickness sanded one we could look at real quick? Sure do. And from there, we take it and we have a template that we We trace out our pattern from this template. I'm not sure how well that'll show up on camera. And this is our Angelus model. It's a cutaway. It's a little smaller body that's more of a finger style guitar. And that would be laid out in the best way on the, the back and traced out. And from there it's cut out and then it would go on the clipper who would put the bracing on the back of the piece. Uh, and they're going to show you that later, so I'll, I won't go into that. The same with the top. It would be glued up, joined, glued up, and then traced out, and then it would go to bracing.